Yeah. New boat. Pretty hot, huh? Actually, it's really hot because the sun's beating down. She's not ready yet. Working on her. And uh thought I'd show her off a little. But since she's not being used as of yet, what I thought we'd do is Gambler came out with a new punching package. Um, Gambler gear up punching package. And it's punching. So I like that a whole bunch. <laughs> So we're gonna go through and we're gonna review it. And um, there's a lot of stuff in there that I throw in that I use. So I'm gonna tell you what I use stuff for, where I use it, when I use it, how I use it. Not saying any of those things are the right way to use it. It's punching, so I gotta do something on it. So little review video, Gambler Gear Up, punching package from the new boat, on location with the new boat, just not ready to fish the new boat. That's a big trick. But she's looking pretty hot, huh? You gotta like that. When she's ready to go, dude, she's gonna be going to be pretty stellar more pretty than anything i've ever been in or at least owned and been in so but let's get to this review and uh, talk a little bit about punching and the gear up so first off what is the gear up package it's freaking simple dude the gear up package is a combination of some of the best top selling products that gambler makes and oftentimes they're going to be themed so there was like a jt kenny package there was a finesse package there was a swim bait package an easy swim bait package we're on to the punching package. Obviously, that's in my wheelhouse. It's something that I love to do. I kind of, you know, broke my teeth on it. Kind of got, you know, getting started in these whole YouTube videos. Whatever. But, yeah, so punching package, I got to talk about it because a lot of the stuff is the stuff I use. Some of the colors are a little different than what I've talked about in the past. So we're going to hit on that. Show the good stuff. Talk about it a little bit. Talk some fishing, right, boys? But let me grab the stuff right back here. So the biggest note about the punching package that I kind of left out of the intro right there is it's freaking cheap. So they took the best products, the best selling products, and basically threw them all into a package. And in doing so, since it's a group of items, they're able to discount the price anywhere from like 30 to 50%. I think this one's like something like 50% off or around that. So it's a killer price point on a collection of baits that I think all catch fish. I mean, you can be the judge of that, but it's, it's solid stuff, solid colors, and a nice variety too. So if you're just getting into something like punching, it's a good way to grab one package and have a variety of different items that are gonna be able to basically fill your needs no matter what you're doing pitching cane pitching pads pitching wood you know punching mat whatever you're doing it's going to cover you in what you need baits baits so baits let's talk baits i got you know what let me bring them all over here that'd be a lot easier won't it? put them right there okay so a note about all these all the baits are going to come in bags i just got individuals that i pulled out of the bag to show you the colors um i don't know the bag counts are different anywhere from like five to ten to I, I don't know exactly. So check the website if you want to check it out, gambler-lures.com. Uh, if you want to check out how many are in a bag or whatever. I just want to show you colors, talk about what they do, what I use them for, and uh, let's get to it because I'm, I'm dicking around here. All right, first things first, let's start with old school. You get two colors of the Crawdaddy. Uh, one's kind of a bow and silver, classic color. It's a blue with a black blend. It's, it's, uh, it, it's one of the classics, dude. And then black, blue glitter. You can't beat it. What's unique about this bait, seems kind of old school, seems kind of simple, but it's so streamlined and the fish haven't seen it. It's one of the classics that's caught them out of the mats day in and day out, and it's making a comeback, a silent comeback, but it, it really comes through when, you know, like your baits with bigger appendages, with bigger flappers and stuff like that, just aren't getting bit. When those fish are like, hey dude, I want it smooth, chill, not too much action. You got these little appendages on here, but they're almost like little stick baits sticking off of there. They're gonna quiver, they're not gonna kick too much, it's not gonna shake too much, it's just gonna be a gentle quiver, and um, great bait for when you're having trouble getting bit, but you still want like a full-size craw bait. I personally use these for mats almost exclusively. I don't put them on jigs or anything like that, but if you got a mat bite and you want something streamlined that'll get through, but at the same time doesn't kick too much, probably like that spring season, you know, when temperatures are kind of varied or winter when it's really cold, but you still want a bigger package to present, crawdaddy, you get two of them. Sticking with the classic theme, ugly otter, baby. So we got green pumpkin, and um, actually that's, that might be, all right, I don't know exactly what color it is. I think it's green pumpkin or like a grasshopper color. And then you got black, blue, or bone silver. So basically, this is a beaver style bait. Ridges, it's 
it's got these awesome paddles. Cool thing you can do with this. All right, so you can either flip it. I oftentimes flip it to mats or I'll put it on a jig trailer, uh, put it on as a jig trailer. All these appendages kick, but they don't like kick, kick, kick. They like wave. It, it's kind of weird. You can see they're, they're almost like paddles. So they swim but they don't exactly swim. They more like wave. Um, it's really hard to explain, but if you put it underwater, you can see. Fun thing you can do with this though, is just like the flapping shad, you can put a little cut right there in the tail, and all of a sudden you got a kicking tail. It's almost like a little worm or a little ribbon tail right there. Put it on the back of a swim jig, uh, put it on you know your standard jig, whatever, but you get more of a kicking action. It all depends on the mood of the fish, but absolutely killer for punching mats, pitching pads, uh, on the trailer of a swim jig or a standard jig it, it has a nice bulk to it and it has a nice flutter especially on that jig to kind of make it wave as it goes down but a classic ugly otter super solid for punching all right one more classic and then we're going to move on to some of the newer stuff i mean you guys got to know what this is by this point bb cricket this is if i had one punching bait for my rest of my life to punch with it's going to be this joker Super compact, it'll get through any mat. You can oftentimes downsize your weight. So say you're pitching like a one and a half with like a why not or a bigger style bait. Dude, you can go down to like a one, one and a quarter with this thing just because it's so streamlined and it falls right through. Great for when the fish are in a negative mood. They don't want to bite, they don't want kicking action. They just want something streamlined with some very straight appendages on it that are gonna quiver a little bit when they're going down way i like to fish this the most is when you need to get out of bb cricket the fish are in a bad mood and they don't want to eat pitching this thing to a mat lifting it up and talking to my buddy for like 45 seconds and i just hold that thing suspended under the mat i'm like hey how you doing johnny had a good day yeah i wish we could get more bites the fishing sucks because they're not chewing da, da, da. and then on like second 39 it's like Tunk! Okay, so you get the idea. It's a very subtle bait. It, it even works too. When I lived up in North Central Florida, um, during the summer, the, the bite gets tough because it gets so damn hot. Um, fish in the river. Uh, fish in, I think it was the Oklawaha and the Withlacoochee. I don't remember exactly which ones, but we'd pitch mats in those rivers. There's a not strong current, but a little bit of current. And those fish were still like weird to get to bite, but uh, pitching a BB cricket with a punch skirt was absolutely killer up there. Super compact, perfect for mats, um, but if you are running finesse jigs and stuff like that, I've heard about a lot of guys catching some good fish, putting these on the back end of their little finesse jigs. Classic, catches fish, punching. All right, we're gonna do a little interlude here before we jump to the rest of the baits. You also get friggin' punch skirts. I think I've told a lot of you guys before, I like picking them up and putting them on when I'm fishing a river system. And, and that's when I always have one tied on. When I fish Robin Reservoir, Lake Russo, um, I forget what the other place is called, but basically anything that has like a river dumping into it, if it's an impoundment, if it's a straight river, I want a punch skirt. I don't know why that is, but it's proven true in the past. Now, when it comes to lakes like Lake Okeechobee, Lake Kissimmee, punch skirt can be good. It all depends on the bulk that they're looking for in the bait. Um, if they're really targeting brim in that, if the weather's pretty stable, that punch skirt adds a nice little bulk, a nice little flare to the bait. It's awesome under the mats. The other thing though that you can do too is when you're just pitching open or emergent cover, if that cover is real snaggy and really annoying to fish with like a jig, like a double weed guard jig or something like that, you can always run your, your traditional punching rig with a straight shank or an offset shank hook and um, basically add this punch skirt and you have like a, a streamlined or a, or a less snaggy like jig. It doesn't have the exact same action as a jig so don't get me wrong, like the jig gets those crazy bites. Da, 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 da. It's not the same thing, but if you're looking to be more efficient and it doesn't really seem to matter if you know it's a jig or not a jig kind of deal, this is an excellent way to go. It comes with four of them. It also includes the quick change punch skirts. Cool part about the quick change, you can see that hole, see my eyeball through the hole. You don't have to retie to put them on. You slide it off, you slide it on. Super simple, super quick, and that way when I'm fishing a lake like Okeechobee and that, if I want to try out a punch skirt, all I got to do is slip it over the hook put my bait on there, flip away. If it's not the deal, take it off. If it is the deal, leave it on there and keep on smashing them. But four punch skirts, I like these things. They're fun. And dude, it's one of those little things you can do to sort of set yourself apart. If you're on a good flipping or a punching bite, everybody's gonna be, you know, straight plastics, da da da. You mix one of these jokers in and it can be a game on balls to the wall. One last quick tip. 
I love contrast. Let me show you an example. So if I got this black and blue uh, punch skirt, I'll put it with like a green pumpkin bait. I like mixing it up. I don't always want to match the, the punch skirt to the bait. I like contrast, different colors. Personal thing, I think it makes it look a little weird and draw a little more attention and it looks like nothing they've ever seen. Let's get back to the baits though. We have the Why Not in two colors. I think this is a June Bug Shadow and Green Pumpkin, classic colors. Has that nice paddle at the bottom, which you can pry apart just like that. Has a very subtle kicking action, but nothing too crazy. Nice solid body. When you're snell hooking this thing and punching mats, it, it really holds the hook well. You gotta set the hook decent, but it holds the hook well if you wanna be efficient and you're really dealing with some super thick stuff or maybe you're using a two ounce weight. Another great jig trailer as well. Another thing that you wanna think about, sometimes we're gonna be cutting this thing off. I'll bite it down if I'm flipping mats with a one and a half, probably down to there. And um, that's how I get started. And then if I wanna use the whole bait, I can, but I'll usually cut it down, make it a little more compact. But the why not? Stellar in the mats, stellar in a little more stable conditions when you, you wanna go for that bigger bite and maybe you don't wanna use that crawdaddy or that, that BB cricket, don't need to be that subtle. A little more kick on this one, burner crawl. So kicking legs, obviously, same body style as the Why Not, so it's gonna hold that hook good. Killer on a swim jig or a bladed swim jig. Dude, if you got brim around and you're throwing that swim jig and buzzing it through the grass or throwing that chatterbait buzzing it through the grass, this thing holds onto your keeper, stays on there, doesn't slide, adds a nice subtle kick to it, like a walking kick. Perfect way to mimic brim, dude, when you're throwing that swim jig. Um, also great for pitching. I usually use it in a little later spring, maybe summer, when I want a little more action, a little more kick on my plastics when I'm pitching them to the reeds or to the pads or things along those lines. Burner Craw, black blue glitter, and this is this is one of my favorites. I actually kind of helped, not helped, but I, I had the idea kind of for this color. Killer G, green pumpkin and purple. How can you go wrong, right, dude? Last but not least, the Stinger. So this is a ribbed kind of beaver style bait. Absolutely killer, it quivers in the water like you would not believe. Got these nice little paddle thingies on the bottom, these little dancer deals. I like little stuff like that, I think it makes them bite. But this is, um, oh, what is this called? I forget what this is called, it's the ultimate Kissimmee color. But then you got black, blue, glitter, and uh, green pumpkin. You can't beat this color because no matter where you fish in the United States, they like green pumpkin and they like black blue. It's the best of all worlds. Like it's it, it's the deal. This bait does anything. I will flip mats with this thing. I will put it on the back of a jig. I will sight fish with this thing because it's got this quivery like loveliness right there. You can put it on the bed and you grab your you know your line on your rod and you just go ch -ch 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 -ch, and that thing quivers, dude. It freaking quivers. So. I like this deal and putting it on the back of a jig, punching it in the mat, it, it's subtle because of the way it's ribbed, but at the same time, it has a little bigger presentation. So it's perfect for uh, drawn out bites when they, they're just, they're not in the mood. Plus they haven't seen anything like this very much, especially down here in Florida. So it's a great bait to uh, get outside the competition, mix it up a little bit. And these are two solid colors, dude. I still don't remember what this is called. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go look what this is called. Goes. what's your deal, bro? Dog's freaking out. He, he doesn't know what the color is called either. I'm gonna go check real quick. I am such an idiot. This is like literally, I love this color and it seems really stupid, but I really like this color. It's called Friendly Fire, dude. Friendly Fire. I think they make it in the BB Cricket and all that stuff too, but Friendly Fire. All right, boys, that's a wrap. That's the Gambler Gear Up punching package. Gotta do a review because it's punching. I love the punch. Got to do some of it this year. I really missed a really good window of punching on Lake Kissimmee. I got, I touched the end of it, but I missed the, the juice, as they say. But super killer deal. I think it's $53.99. It's like 50 some percent off um, of, the, of the retail price if you put all those products together. It comes with a nice mix of stuff. You got your punch skirts, you got, you know, classic, you got, you know, new school stuff. You, you really have a nice variety, whether it's jig pitching, flipping, um, punching mats, pitching like pads, pitching wood. All this stuff there will cover you. The colors are perfect too. There's a wide range for any kind of water quality, as well as mimicking different kinds of brim, different types of bait fish. But um, definitely check it out. It's at gambler um, Oh, and you get the free dry bag.
which is pretty sweet. You can store your phone in here. Um, people like me who have a bunch of GoPro cameras and hate when it rains out, even though I love to fish in the rain, I can stash my GoPros in here when the weather gets really nasty if I wanna make sure they're gonna be all right or my expensive cameras. So it comes with this joker too. It's a pretty killer deal, but check it out. And um, I hope you enjoyed getting a little sneak peek at the new boat. I'm gonna get back to working on it, but hopefully in the next week or two, you're gonna see this joker in action. Last but not least, make sure to subscribe, like, support Real Fishing, and if you haven't seen it, I'm gonna say this like a million times in the next videos because I'm not gonna lie, I'm really proud of it. If you haven't watched the 49 pounds, three ounce video, like of the ultimate mega bag day with my buddy Fido Beto, you need to. Just go back in the videos a little bit. I might pop a link at the in the end credits, uh, but you need to check it out. If you want to talk about real fishing and one of the most epic moments that you've ever had in your life, just come live it with us, dude. It, it went down. We caught it on video. It was absolutely killer. But I won't keep you too long. Check out the punching gear up thing and uh, tight lines. Keep it real, boys.